This is John for John Just Feed. I'm here at the ballpark. I have Stacy Mae Johnson. How are you? I'm doing well. How are you guys? We're, we're doing good. We're, you know, we're in bandit land. We couldn't be any better. Yeah, I hear you. Now, now, last year you came back after a, a little time off. Yep. So, what are your thoughts on the season that you had last year? Oh, well, you know, you you want to play at a higher level, obviously, but but I think Realistically, that's that's what we were gonna get. We were gonna find out where where my game was at, and uh, and just kind of go from there. So what it did was it gave me kind of a starting point on what to do in the off season, how to how to train, and and how to hopefully come back and help the team win a championship this year. Well, it's, last year was a good season. Yeah. This year you're you're doing even better. So how did, how do you how are you feeling this season? Um, I feel like I get better every day, you know, and I, I guess that's that's funny because you're like, oh, that's that's just coach talk. It's not coach talk. I really do show up every day, uh, work hard, get better, um, and, and I, I feel the same way about our team. I feel like we're growing. Um, obviously, we dropped a game last night to you know Australia, and and uh, we need to learn from that. We dropped some games from to UCSA. We're going to learn from those too, and and that's how you get better. You you learn a lot more from losing than you do from winning. And you have a couple of kids, right? Yes, two. Two. And I, like, last year when I talked to you, one of them was old enough. I'm not sure how the young, how old the youngest one is. But how cool is that for you? And, and what do you think? Like they think they see mommy out there hitting and mommy out there playing. Well, like I, I don't know if they quite understand, especially the younger one. I don't know if she quite understands what she's seeing. The older one just thinks it's fun to be around the game and to to get to come on the field. And after the game, they ran the bases last night. And, so they're just having a good time with it. I don't think they quite understand the magnitude of the bandits and what it is, but um, you know, it, it's it's really fun for me to be able to be a part of that with my kids. Now I got a couple questions from super fan Kenzie Parker. Okay. She always supplies a couple. Uh, actually, I have three from her. So her first question is, how has the game changed from when you first started till now? Oh man, I, I mean, across the board, it's better. You know, uh, it's faster. Everybody's bigger and they hit the ball farther and they're stronger. Um, just the quality of athlete has really, really increased over the years. I mean, it's it's clear as day. I mean, the, the athletes across the board, infield, outfield, defensively, you can't get anything to drop in the outfield <laughs> anymore because the outfielders are so fast. And, and uh, man, uh, just watching these girls, especially taking batting practice, I mean, they really hit it a long way. So, really, really high quality athletes. Okay. And her second question is. How does it feel to be part of Team USA? Oh man, what a cool experience, you know. I, I think obviously I love the Bandits and, and the Bandits was really where I got my start at the professional level and the Bandits was the, the platform on which I was able to develop my game over the years to get to that point. Um, so it was it was a very, very cool experience to be able to, to put on that USA jersey. I got to wear it for a couple of years and um, it was just a lot, of, a lot of fun. And the last question from Kenzie is, what advice would you give young players who want to be part of this whole thing one day? I, I mean, you can never project where you're going to go, where this game is going to take you. All you can do is what's right here and right now in front of you. So every single day, go out, love the game, play it hard, and get better every day. That's all you can do. Well, obviously you're still having fun. That's pretty obvious. By your, your stance this year, you're, you're doing great. Probably too early to ask you, but I have to ask anyway. Next season? I don't know. I don't know. It's it's obviously I have a lot of different things pulling me in a lot of different directions. I would love to be able to say, yeah, I'm going to be back next season. I just don't know. Coaching in your future at some point down the line? Um, at this level, I don't know. Uh, I'm just focused on, you know, coaching at the collegiate level right now. Um, if I'm going to devote a summer to this right now, it's going to be as a player. Okay. Um, so maybe I don't know. Maybe when my kids get older, if I had the opportunity, maybe. But. Uh, I obviously have a, a real job that you know pays and gives me benefits during the year. And I hate those real jobs. I know, I know, they I know. They get the way of all the fun. I, they do. No, but that's it's a great job. I mean, I am a coach during the year, and so um, I, I love that. I, I love being a part of the, the collegiate level. and um, so. But who knows? Who knows? Maybe down the line I'll get to do this uh, on the coaching side, too. Well, we're hoping you come back next year as a player. Okay. No, no pressure. We're thank just you. hoping you come back. Uh, me too. So, Stacey, thank you very much for your time, all and right. we will we'll follow you guys all season into the playoffs. Awesome. Thanks so Thanks. much. Thank you.